So false false five. Where does chalk come from? Where's chalk come from? Uh what is it? Sand? No. Dye? What? Hard and die? Hard and die? Yeah. Hard and dead what? No, no, no. Dead. What? Dead sea animal from a long time ago, in fact. So, uh, chalk is not actually vegan, technically. Because <laughs> we're talking about... Talk about... Kangaroos? Kangaroos. Hmm. That's an all interesting totally, that one, eh? No, we're not talking about kangaroos. We're talking about something bigger. Bigger. Talk about whales. Learning stuff. Risk risky. Now, what makes something a whale? What are whales? Are whales fish? Are they big fish? They're big fish? Are they big fish? No, but they kind of are. Well, they kind of are, but they're kind of not because they do have like gills and stuff. They don't have gills. They don't. Ever. How do whales breathe? like a hole in the top of their head. That's right, which is not a gill, right? Now whales, yes, whales breathe out of blowholes because whales are not fish, they are? Whales. They are mammals. Mammal. And being a mammal, what do they do? What is it about a mammal that's different from a fish? They make... <sighs> milk. How did they get so big? Well, because they, well, because they have a fat layer of blubber. Uh, no, 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 no. How did they become so big? I mean, they weren't originally so big. In fact, well, I mean, when they lived on the land, they were quite small. Then they got in the water, and they got bigger and bigger and bigger, until they became the blue whale, which is extremely big. Yeah. How did they become so big? Well, because they were... Well, because so you can survive more. Oh, okay. Now, interesting question. Is it good to be big? Does it help you survive? A very big animal is hard to attack, actually. But what happens if there's a swarm of... A swarm? Well, yeah, like they, they, they could swarm them. Why is it difficult to be a large animal? Because you might not see the predator. Oh, because he might be like, where is he? I can't see him. My body is too big. Kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could smell them or something. Um, the, the, the dis disadvantage to being an extremely large animal would be that you need to get enough food every day to sustain a large body. So, if there was some change in, uh, in the Earth's environment, and, and you're kind of specialized and focused on one thing that you eat, Okay, so if that thing disappeared, you'd be in trouble. Do human beings hunt whales? Do people hunt whales? Well, uh, most likely no. No? Why not? Well, because they're uh, gigantic and it would be very hard to kill a whale. No, humans have no problem killing things. People used to use whales for whale oil that they used to burn in lamps and stuff. So they did use to hunt whales. And some countries do still hunt whales for, for eating them. Now, a reason why we would have for not hunting whales is that we had hunted whales almost to the point of extinction at one point in history. And now some certain countries do still hunt whales. Although, I mean... The concern about that is kind of overshadowed by the general devastation that human beings are doing to the oceans. Like with drift netting and overfishing and stuff like that. So. Killer whales! What about killer whales? Well, they kill whales so they can survive. Because they only have small bodies and they can actually... 
support a whole group of them. What? I'm just saying that if a that a killer whale will kill a whale. Will kill oh, a killer a whale will kill a whale. Do they hunt people? Well, uh, maybe. Maybe. I never know. Why might they hunt people? Well, because if if none of the food sources are are able to be relied on, then they might start attacking humans. Yeah. Of like scuba divers. Scuba divers. You, you know, you would think or suspect that they would attack scuba divers because scuba divers look a lot like... Shark? Seals. Seal. Which is something they eat. So, one might think that they would naturally attack scuba divers, but they don't. Why don't they? Because, of the, because they don't look appetizing. They don't look appetizing? Yeah. Well, how could they look more appetizing? Well, maybe if they had like a... Well, if they if they had like their body, like the, nothing on them, like just uh. yeah, yeah, like a seal has nothing on it, right? Then it might look more appetizing. Killer whales are smart, smart, and they have experience with humans, and they seem to remember experiences with humans. So they know things about humans, and they know that we're a little bit. Tougher than seals, so they probably shouldn't mess with us. It seems to be the case. Okay, so that's why killer whales don't seem to attack people. It's bad idea to keep whales in a big tank for people to look at. Why? Because they might break the tank. No, why? They would break the tank. They wouldn't break the tank. The why? Tank is strong. It's a strong tank. What happens if they build it? What happens if they build it accidentally, not that hard? They don't do that. Humans don't do that. Humans build big, scary guns to kill whales, and they build tanks that hold whales. That's just what humans do. Now, what's wrong about putting a whale in a big tank as opposed to perhaps another fish? Like a goldfish. Well, because the well, because the whale would eat it. No, 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 no. My point is, what is particularly bad about taking, uh, forget about a blue whale, a beluga whale, taking a beluga whale or an orca and putting it in a tank or a dolphin even, and keeping it there for many years? What's wrong with that? Because they would both die from a starvation. They wouldn't die from starvation because people would feed them. Well, what happens if they forget? They won't forget. Well, what happens if they do? Everybody forgets stuff. The point is, these are very highly intelligent animals. Keeping them in, in, a, in, a, in a tank like that with very little sensory stimulation would make them extremely depressed and sad. And uh, there have been incidences where where, where cetaceans like like beluga whales or killer whales have have you know hurt themselves because they've been kept in that kind of a situation. So I think people have became aware of this in the last 30, 40 years. So uh, you don't usually see sea animals kept in those kind of ways anymore. What about seals? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, if the animal can kind of get out, interact, do some stuff, interact you know. Interact with other, like, interact with its fellow friends. With its fellow friends or with its people, with people around it, you know, stuff like that. It provides it with stimulation, gives it company, a sense of, you know, community and stuff, you know, then the animal will be happier. But if it's just swimming around in a big tank, it's going to say, hey, this sucks. You know what I mean? Ah!